Yo, people, welcome back to another Echo. Oh my god. Yo, people, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is a very lovely day outside. It's such a shame it's so windy, though. That's the only reason we are filming in this lovely orange and red sort of tunnel. As you can see, I've got both bikes with me today. I've got my prototype, and then we also have Millie's fresh drawn the C2 with a fresh LHC. Guys, what do you guys think? Should I put a new seat on my bike? This one's looking a bit dusty now, isn't it? Yeah. This one's gone like all the colour and that faded yeah. away. Oh, Enough of that bike for this video. That's that's a whole nother video. This video is about this bike today because I know a lot, a lot of you guys know about the C2, but you don't. I was about to say, but you don't know about the C2. It's all dusty rusty and all that now. Let's try and get this for you guys. Guys, go follow Millie, Mills Mate M, and go follow me if you haven't already at Little Harry 15. Guys, let's get into the review. Let's get into my favorite part. No, no, no. Let's get into what everyone's favorite part should be the seat. As I've already mentioned, um, yeah, LH seat is on the bike. Doesn't come standard. The collective bike seat does come standard. If you want to see exactly how this bike comes in the box, um, click the link in the description or watch my recent video. I did unbox this um, bike in that video. So if you haven't watched that, make sure you go and watch it. A lot and lots of people DM me saying, Harry, what's the best brake to use for wheeling? Um, all I'm going to say is hydraulic brakes are the best brakes for wheeling. So if you have any type of hydraulic brake on your bike, then that is good enough. Obviously there is different like types of hydraulic brakes you can get. This bike, as I just said, does come with hydraulic brakes, which is weird because on a bike like this, it normally comes with disc brakes. So you can still put a hydraulic brake on any disc bike, but on these types of bikes, it normally comes with a dead brakes, but not here at Collective. We have the front and back standard Shimano braking system. Should we change location? Windy. Alright, so guys, we cannot escape the wind, but we are in a different location, which is a little bit less windy, so we're good. Crazy important thing when looking for bikes is how strong the wheels are going to be, and if the hubs are sealed or not. As you can see, the C2 does come standard with sealed hubs, which is always good. Collective actually have their own tyres on this bike. As you can see, it's got the same similar pattern as it does on the frame with the CB Collected Bikes logo. These tires are amazing. 3.0 in width, that's the size of the tire. That's, that's how big they are, the width of the tire, 3.0. 27.5 inch wheels. As you guys would notice, all the stickers on this bike, they do come up as like a rainbow sort of reflection in the sunlight, not completely moving on. I keep, guys, we I'll are- I keep hearing yeah, stuff yeah, as well, yeah, don't we're worry. We're on a bike track, so me and Millie keep hearing noises and we're scared that yeah, there's gonna be someone- Yeah, I keep hearing things down there, like. We're scared there's gonna be someone blowing down here on the bike and just crashing straight into this lovely seat if we don't want that. On the front, as you can see, this does consist of using an Allen key. You do not need any type of tool that requires bolt on, except on the back wheel you do. So yeah, that is a very quick and easy way. It's not quick release, but it's definitely quicker than doing it that way. We have this lovely, lovely standard gold chain and the other gold things on this bike, the gold nipples. spoke nipples. <laughs> the one thing that I absolutely love about this bike is that it comes with a standard Shimano Z crank set. This, this is called Holotech, where? Oh, there's people there. People on bikes as well. Ah, they might run us over. These are one of the top cranks and bottom brackets you can get, which is always good to know that it comes on this bike standard. So when you do buy this bike, you will not have squeaky cranks like, it's gonna sound perfect because it's got the perfect cranks on, perfect bottom bracket. This bike is literally perfect to pull out of the box, build up and literally ride. You do not need to change anything on this bike. That's why I like the C2 so much. The C2 is also so comfy for riding. I see it more as like a cruising bike. So if I just wanted to go out on a nice ride, I'd use this bike because I can have the seat 
this height the bars are like higher and you're not so like lean lent over on that bike as you would be on any other bike on my bike i'm more lent over obviously because the way my bike's set up i set my bike up with very small components so the bike feels very small and tight and compact whereas this one this one is massive this one ah oh, it's so windy this bike is massive and guys if you've rode the t2 before you will know it literally glides doesn't it millie glides up steps glides up curbs just it just windy just glides no it, it actually does just glide like it just feels so smooth and everything because like the big tires and that i like it have you ever rode a bike like this before uh no they're the main things i've gone over on the bike and guys if you was wondering it doesn't come with the collective bikes one-way quarry pedals it just comes with these standard ones these are still good though the metal pedals metal pedals are always better than plastic ones in my opinion because my feet don't slip off metal ones and if your feet slip and that pedal hits your shin ooh, ooh, that that. it's painful isn't it uh. there is an integrated headset so that is always good as well all right guys i've only ever rode the c2 on the road and millie's have only ever rode the c2 on the road yeah we're on we're we're on a mad terrain right now definitely gonna fall no that's the wrong attitude to have you're definitely not gonna fall because you got these big tires to keep you up yeah you big look at the grip on them as well pattern you will notice you're gonna get a lot of strange looks um well get a lot of strange looks now anyway because obviously everyone's just in it like we're all diseased yeah everyone looks at you everyone looks at you weird nowadays if you're out because you're not supposed to be out but me and millie we are from the same household and we're getting exercise daily exercise which you're allowed which you're allowed so we're not getting them types of strange looks today the only strange looks we're getting is because of how big these tires are mm. but that's fine because people love the bike <laughs> she's gone she's gone all right so guys i haven't rode this track in a long time um i definitely haven't rode this track on this bike before i don't really remember what this track is and i don't know any of the turns or anything anymore any of the jumps so i'm going to put the gopro on quickly we're going to get a little bit of pov footage of me and millie gliding around the track you ready let's get it let's get it <laughs> we both have disadvantages so my tires are completely bald and millie has no gears <laughs> where are all the jumps oh wait should we go that looks a bit like grumpy dumpy isn't it what way then that way oh it's rocky oh. you got this you got this oh. you got this <laughs> i'm not tired Yeah, go on, just, yeah, go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna leave here now. I'm gonna put the GoPro on my head for a little bit. I'm not getting loads of GoPro POV clips today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be getting a, I'm gonna be getting some, so let's go. Whoa! This, this, this is the trick I've got. Are you ready? Oi. Hey! <laughs> Guys, she wants me to do steps, so I'm going to complete that real quick. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, that was it. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be ending today's video here. Guys, let me just show you real quick. These are the shoes from when me and Solomon went in the water 
at Dover. I am taking them back to my parents to see if my mum can clean them and get them revived. They are, I'm, I'm gonna get new ones anyway because they are completely done, but I just wanna see if they can look basically brand new after looking at this. My car's on a little conveyor belt. Come on, come faster. Guys, this is where I end in today's video. If you like today's video and you like the content on the C2, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, give it a thumbs up if you like the C2 as well. It's an amazing bike. If you wanna buy it, remember, click the link in the description. Turn on your post notifications, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.